Howdy folks, Sandal Pipe here. I'm smoking some Stone Ave in my Savinelli. Very good stuff. And I'm making this video in response to AGS Mom, who changed her name to Tattoo Mom. <laughs> it took me forever to find you. Um, anyway, I want to tell you my love story. And with me is my wife, Verity. And I met her at college. Uh, I arrived by myself at college, and my f I got unpacked my stuff in my room, and then went out to the lobby to get my registration packet. And as I was waiting around for the line to start, there was this girl and she was kind of cute and she walked up to me and introduced herself very happy and perky and that was what you know what I expected and I told her that my goal was to meet as many people as I could and I, I did win that by the way that I'm a competitive person and I ended up getting to meet people quicker than she did Yes, I'm not a competitive person. You, <laughs> you just meet people for the fun of meeting people. But he did come up to me the next day and said, I'm up to 100. How many are you at? And I wasn't quite sure what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was standing in the beginning of the line with my parents. So I introduced him to my parents because I also like to introduce people. And he walked around way and thought that I was really odd because... Not only did I introduce myself, but I introduced my parents. And yeah, and, and I thought that was really awkward. It was very it awkward to be awkward. introduced. It, we were, they were there, you were there, everyone was there. <laughs> it was awkward, because it wouldn't have been awkward if it were anybody else. Um, but from the moment I saw her, I kind of liked her and thought, I want to see her around. One of my reasons for going to college was so that I would be surrounded by beautiful young Christian ladies. That was not my reason for going to college no. at all. No. <laughs> I was there But then to I be thought college. after yeah. I got over the initial awkwardness of the meeting, I thought, "Oh. Well, this is kind of convenient. Now when I need to ask her dad for her hand, I already know him <laughs> and I've met him." Um, apparently her mom walked away from that conversation and talked about how great of a smile I had for the next several months. <laughs> yeah, she did. But, uh, what was it two, two, three days later? Or was it the same day? When? For what? When I asked you to sit down next to me. I think it was that evening for supper. Okay. Anyway, it was very shortly thereafter. I, uh... I'd met her, and she was friendly, and I thought, oh, nice to get to know her better. And so I invited her to sit down next to me at supper uh, in the cafeteria. And she said, no, I think that would give the wrong impression. And uh, so I waited my time, kept an eye on her. I thought we had the same schedule because whenever I'd go check my mail, he'd be there, and when I'd go to eat meals, he was there, and I really thought we just happened to have the same schedule, but no. <laughs> she had a stalker. <laughs> but um, that semester, he kept standing out to me. I really started to respect him, um, who he chose to spend his time with, what he chose to do with his free time, what he wanted to talk about it was a, always something of depth and worthwhile. And um, I went home that Christmas break and gave it some thought. And, um, <laughs> um, uh, and then, uh, went back to college and, um, the first meal back, I, we happened to be going through the line together. We didn't. <laughs> we happened to. <laughs> I kept to... talking to my parents. I went, I went home and spent Christmas with my parents and I kept bringing her up whenever I could. And there wasn't a whole lot I knew about her, but I kept mentioning her. Uh, during Christmas break, and then my my parents weren't at all surprised 
when things started developing. So. But and then the first meal back. That, yes. Um, his parents apparently had made fun of my name because he was telling them about me. <laughs> but uh, first meal back, I asked him if he wanted to sit together. I felt like I was taking him up on the date that he kind of asked for the August before. And uh, we talked for two hours. And it felt like ten minutes because he, I just loved talking to him so much. He had so much to say that was worth listening to. And um, it really surprised me. Uh, and then our friendship grew, and we dated for almost five years, and we've been married almost five years. We haven't known each other ten years. Almost ten years. We almost and almost. Okay. Oh, yeah. About yeah. four and a half plus four and a half. Over nine. I've known you for nine years. This fall we will be nine 19 years. We were nineteen when we met. Oh, yeah, and I'm turning 30. Oh, no, no. Wow. <laughs> Man, time flies. Um, so. Before you know it, you got three kids, and you're married and don't know how... I know I'm, I've been mar I know how long it is since I married. It's just, uh, I don't always think about things that happened before, because it feels like a different life. Yeah. Anyway, after... Let's see, that semester we got to know each other, and then the following fall, uh, we started having a more purposeful, meaningful relationship. We were still a little bit young. We knew that we both needed to finish college before we should get married. So we took things slow, and the soft, or sophomore year of college, we had a lot of good conversations. Mm -hmm. And then our junior year of college, were you gone half of that year? Yep, half that year I was um, working for a ministry in Wisconsin. So I saw her for half the year and then the other half the year she was gone. Senior year, you were there fall semester? Yes. Okay. So senior year she was there fall semester and then the spring semester she sat out again. And that was also the semester your dad, was that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, her dad asked me not to contact her anymore. Uh, the fall semester of my senior year, they caught wind of some rumors, some of which weren't true and some of which were true and exaggerated, but they didn't think I was the right kind of person for for this girl and I really respect that in a dad because it means that he has a high opinion of his daughter and quite frankly I'm gonna have the same trouble with my daughters if uh, if I'm gonna give them up to somebody I wanna make sure they're gonna be the right kind of person so it was was it like nine months or something like that we didn't talk um, January 20th to May 10th. Okay. So it was about five months we didn't talk all semester. I buried myself in books and spent a lot of time in class. Uh, and then towards the end of the semester, we'd been praying uh, towards common goals at that point that we left she wasn't sure who she was, what she wanted to do with her life. But by the end, uh, she wanted to be a missionary to Germany. And at the time, I did as well. And so she felt by the Oh, you met that German friend during that, yeah. that time. So we had a fairly painful five months. And separation didn't make the pain go away. It made the uh, hearts grow fonder. And we so, both grew up. We both matured a lot during that time. We got back together right around graduation and slowly at first and then over the next year we uh, 
started making plans, and we got married a year, about a year after I graduated. So, we've been married since, and things have only gotten better so far, and I really like my wife. So, thank you for asking that tattoo, Mom. That was a very fun question to answer. Yes, and thank you for watching and listening to our love story, and I look forward to hearing everybody else's, because this is the kind of thing that makes us who we are, and I really like getting to know people and hearing their love stories. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.